Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're talking about the CLZ app. What is the CLZ app? Well, if you're comic book collectors and you need to keep track of your collection, this is the best app to do it. So a lot of you guys that watch my videos um, that see these POV type videos where I'm showing you these first person uh, hunts and hauls where I'm going to these comic shops, you guys often see my phone over to the side or on me in some capacity. What I'm doing is I'm not only looking up prices using eBay and cover price and key collector sites like that. I'm also using the app CLZ. So CLZ allows me to keep track of exactly every single comic book I have in my collection and what comics I'm missing from a run. This is a huge, huge thing for run collectors and serious comic book collectors that have huge collections. So if you guys watch my video of the greatest comic book collection I've ever seen, that owner, that uh, collector uses the app CLZ. So if that tells you anything, that's all you need to know. So I reached out to CLZ and I talked to them about making this video and promoting it. I had enough people reaching out to me asking me what, that, what CLZ was that they were gonna buy CLZ, what app was I using to keep track of things. So I have used other apps and I've actually inputted different, uh, my, some books into different apps. So I've used like uh, cover uh, comic book price guide um, and I know there's other apps and sites that do this, um, but they're very clumsy, very finicky. So at, at, as of now, there is no really, really, really good option where you can put um, your comic book collection in and it's giving you real-time updates of that collection. So this app succeeds in that you can keep track of a collection very well. It's very streamlined and also it, it allows you to see what you're missing very easily. This is the cleanest app for doing that. If there if there is an, ever an app where it creates real-time hard and fast true data as far as price goes and it has the ability to keep track of your collection this well and letting you know what you're missing that will be the best app and it's very possible that clz will become that so in this app you cannot you not only keep track of your comics but you can also choose which one's a direct which one's a newsstand how which variant you have yada 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 and also um you know, what condition it, it's in and what you estimate the grade to be, how much you paid for the book, things like that. A lot of input data that's needed, but that's on you. That's not, you know what I mean? That's as, as much as you want to put into it, it has that. So um, let's take a look at the website and let's take a look at the different options they have. All right, everybody. So we are at clz.com. Um, this is not what the CLZ app will look like when you bring it up on your phone, but this is all the collecting options that CLZ offers. Music, comics, movies, books, everything. So let's click on the CLZ comics option, and here you can see it's $14.95 per year to subscribe. They have it on Google Play and App Store for your uh, Apple products. So it has a built-in uh, scanner that allows you to just scan a barcode and it brings the comic up. Um, it allows you to store thousands and thousands and thousands of books, uh, view your totals and statistics, see how many comics you actually have. If you're a numbers guy or girl, this is what you're wanting. So these are the more advanced options, and these are for your uh, web-based collecting. It gets a little bit more expensive, but I'm assuming you have a lot more options and can see a lot more data. I do not have any of those options. I am just talking about the mobile today. So I tried to get a screen capture of the app in process. So I apologize for the, the, the narrow camera angle here, but this is my comic book collection that I have in CLZ right now. Obviously I don't have my whole collection in there, but this is a pretty big chunk. So a lot of my recent titles, stuff that I'm like collecting now and actively collecting, like specifically Uncanny X-Men, this is my complete Uncanny X-Men option. So I clicked Uncanny X-Men number 94, I can only I can see a synopsis of the book, the writers of the book, that kind of data, and I can put additional data in this as far as what I paid for it, what I estimate um, the grade to be. Everything just automatically goes to like a 9.4, and they're giving you like an estimated 
evaluation of that book at that grade price wise. So that is very cool. Uh, here you can change uh, some of the data if you want to so that you can categorize it easier. Um, and then you can give like a star rating, what what storage box you have this in. I mean, it, this, this app goes as far as you want it to go. Um, whether you have it raw, whether you have it slab, you can actually see the cover art. I clicked the back of the book to see that cover art. It, it was not there. So I changed my book to a 7.0 and it changed, I believe it changed the price value accordingly. Now these price data options, I don't know how accurate those are. I don't use that for my pricing evaluation. So this is the, this is the real cl clicker, cl clincher right here how many books are you missing? What issues are you missing? So you can see I'm missing issues one through 93 of that X-Men run, missing 144, 143. So when I'm flipping through and I'm hunting and I'm digging, I can just on the spot see exactly what I'm missing so I'm not missing anything. So I'm not overlooking things or buying duplicates. I mean, it's huge. So as you can see, the CLZ app has uh, and CLZ, the company, has different options. They have that option for Windows, and they have uh, the, the mobile option. I'm, I'm using the mobile option just because that's what I have on me. That's what I have when I'm, when I'm out and about collecting and, and digging. I think an app like this is very important for any collector of any level because the risk of buying duplicates and having an understanding of what you have. So if you missed a couple issues, you know, in a recent run, I have been there. I have been the guy that abs ac accidentally buys the same book twice because I thought I had uh, Donny Cates crossover number six and I ended, I, I didn't have Donny Cates crossover number six. Well, now I have two of them. And guess what? That book is pretty much worthless. And I spent $8 to buy something that now I don't even want and I don't even need and I can't sell. So it's, 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 it's very much saving you money. And this is the cheapest option out there. So for $15 a year, you can get a full year of this service. I think that's gonna pay for itself. It, that pretty much pays for itself with three to four comic books that you accidentally bought two of. If you think about it that way, it's a pretty good deal. Other sites, like I said, have this feature, but they're not as clean, they're not as streamlined, and they're more expensive. This is the cheapest option, it's the best option, it's a no-brainer. Guys, let me know if you guys are gonna be buying the CLZ app. Let me know how you guys keep track of your collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If at any point in time you like this video, give the thumbs up, and if you like this video, subscribe for more. Take care.